Hi, this is Mrs. Often, and I'm here with a paper slide video about how to study for math tests. Sometimes students say to me, I never study for math tests. Either you're good at math or you aren't. This is not true. You need to review and practice if you are going to get better at anything, math included. But how do you study for a math test? After all, you aren't going to be asked vocabulary words, or who fought what battle, or even asked to compare one reading to another. So the answer is mostly do more problems, but that's not the total answer. Sometimes there is vocabulary that you need to study. So let's look at our first example here of vocabulary. There's many options for you in reviewing vocabulary. You could review it any way that works best for you. You can draw a picture or write an example. Here I've drawn a picture for a circle and around the outside of the circle it says circumference and then inside there's a line, a line segment, the diameter, and another line segment labeled radius. You can write an example. Here I've written an example of a quadratic equation, x squared plus 2x plus 7 equals 0. Maybe it helps you to write a song or to use flashcards. Many times, though, you will need to do problems. For this, you should use your notes or the textbook. I suggest using the book or your notes to find out what the objectives are. What is it that you have to be able to do? Make a list of these objectives. Make a list of other formulas or procedures that you'll need to know. Maybe you need to know the quadratic formula. Maybe you need to know the slope formula. Make sure those are written down so you can review those as well. And most importantly, you should use problems that have already been solved correctly. Now, what you're going to do is practice, practice, practice. So you're going to look in your book. Hey, those problems have odd answers in the back of the text. You can look at problems that are example problems that say how to solve, for example, a linear equation. Follow that through, read it over, and then try it on your own. If you get stuck and can't figure it out even if you are following the example, a great idea is to talk to friends. This is an excellent excuse to be using Skype late at night. You can also stay after school for help with me or with another math teacher. Keep practicing. Another great idea is to write your own problems and share with a friend. So you can see these two stick figures have written some problems and they're going to trade. A lot of times when I have to write equations, I start off by thinking, what do I want my unknown to be equal to? So if I want to solve an equation with two steps, I'll say, okay, I want x to be equal to 5. Then I'll multiply that by 3 and get 15. So I have 3x and that's 15. Then I'll add 4. Okay, so I have 3x plus 4 and that's 15 plus 4 is 19. So now I'll write down my whole equation. 3x plus 4 equals 19. I already know what x should be equal to, so when I solve it, then I have a good idea that I've solved it correctly. If you follow these suggestions every time you have a math test, then you can help yourself to get a better score.